Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the press and media. Um, actually, we call for this uh, press meet on behalf of the Higher Education Department as the Minister in charge of uh, Higher Education and also with my two officers uh, who are looking after the scholarship for the state of Nagaland and its students. And you can kindly introduce yourself. Uh, myself, I am Tol Pujo. I am the computer programmer and looking looking after the scholarship that was. Hello, my name is Deduce Likihio and I am uh, taking your charge as who is this scholarship. Since it has been more than uh, eight, nine days when the post-metric scholarship have started to be distributed for more than 40,000 students and the student community have been quite restless with regards to the amount of the scholarship, with regards to why they are getting their scholarship late and with regards to many other things uh, which we can also understand their grievances and their needs. So I think uh, the way it is being done, the way post-metric scholarships are distributed, are done by the Department of Higher Education under the government of Nagaland in a very clear and transparent manner. Since 2018 onwards, that is since 2019 when we started uh, again giving the scholarships, there has been no case of any discrepancies in the distribution of scholarship. Many students ask this question, Sir, other states get so much, so much, why we are not getting it? Now, the government of India, the Ministry of Tribal Affairs, under whom we give the post-metric ST scholarship gives us in two installments. So when they give us in two installments, how can the state government with a state share of 10% give it in one whole installment? Honorable Chief Minister, who is also the leader of the government today and the finance minister has never delayed in giving the state share. Yes, official procedures are taken. And especially this year, I believe that the post-metric scholarship has been a little bit delayed because of the model code of conduct in the whole country. And during that time, the sanction amount to be given to the states have been delayed for some time, but exactly after that we received it and it is already in distribution. Uh, how many students? 40,000? How much is it? So altogether 42,000 we have been 70. 42,870 students received the post-metric ST scholarship. To upload even those number, it's not very easy. Per day, the transaction is being able to do for only approximate from 4,000 to 5,000 students. So some students say that their friends have received, why are they not receiving? Every day they write, every day they email. My email is filled with their letters also. And not only that, my department officials, they get all kinds of queries. Yes, we accept the fact that we have not been able to communicate properly to the students, but it will not happen like that anymore. But the students have to also understand that government procedures and works cannot be, you know, overlapped and just run to distribute. Because all transactions are done under PFMS. Authentication of the student's name and their account number takes time. 
and even now post metric scholarships all have been distributed except for some according to what I know whose accounts have been redundant or is not correct in one way or the other. So I think the department will also say what it's going to do about it. And coming to the merit scholarship, merit scholarship is a state chapter for all those students who pass class 10, 12 with more than 80% marks. Get it? And uh, those who get their graduation and post graduation with more than 70% marks, they get it. So the finance has already cleared it. Authentication is happening with the treasuries and accounts today. Yeah. So within the next two, three days, it would be released without any disturbances. I also request the students and the people who are beneficiaries to be well knowledgeable about why some of them are getting less or why they're getting more. Because some who are staying in the hostels, they may get more. Some who are not staying in the hostels may get less. And this time, according to what I know personally, the ministry has sent a little bit lesser money. 33%, no? Only 33% of the whole amount. Which means the amount of distribution to more than 42,000 students have gone down. But the next installment they get, they will get the whole 67% of the amount, which will include the state share of 10% also. So I think uh, my officers will also say some things. We can go in detail. And yeah, I've said sir, by uh, our minister, honorable minister, like uh, this time we have received a beneficiary of uh, more than 50 students, but. After verification, we are paying to uh, 42,000... More than 50,000 students. Yes, yes. So we are uh, awarding to 42,817 students. And for state merit scholarship, like uh, we are paying to 4,424 students for merit and research. And for merit and research, uh, the amount com uh, the amount comes to uh, six per twenty five lakh, and for post metric scholarship this time we are giving away seventeen per eighty one lakh to the students, and as said as said by our sir, the rest of the amount will be uh, will be cleared in the second installment. Ministry's communication from the next year onwards. Yeah. Uh, we have one good news uh, for the students, like uh, we just, this, this month itself, uh, we had a video conference with the Ministry of Tribal Affairs and Ministry of Tribal Affairs has assured us that from the academic session or from the financial year 2024-25, uh, there will be only one time release. As of now, there are two installments, but from the financial year 2024-25, there will be only one time release, which means the students will be getting their scholarship at one go. Then that means one time payment, unlike the present one. And also we have another important announcement for the students. From the academic session 2024-25, we are onboarding into the national scholarship portal. As of now, we are in the state, uh, state uh, portal. But from the academic session 2024-25, we are onboarding into the National Scholarship Portal for the betterment of the students and also for the uh, betterment of the state government. Uh, let me highlight a little bit regarding the uh, accounts of the indication why it takes time for the fresh but renewal uh, applicants, they get it early. For renewal, since they have received the payment in the previous uh, academic session, they already have a PFMS code. Their account has been authenticated and they have a PF, uh, PFMS code has been generated. So for them to make another payment, we don't have to authenticate their account again. So we only have to upload their PFMS code and so they are able to receive it very early. But for fresh applicants, since it's 
phrase, we have to authenticate their account. So we have to upload their uh, accounts and then the system will authenticate. Once the system authenticate, we have to download it again. We have to cross check, you know, and upload it again and see whether their uh, name matches with the account holder's name as per the system. So if the names are, applicant name is different from the account holders, we have to uh, reject it or we have to uh, download it back and then we have to cross check again whether the student has correctly uploaded the his or her bank account or not. So we, when we cross check, we see you know, the account passbook. If it is of the applicant, and that means the applicant has made a mistake while filling out the online application. So we recorrect it and we re-upload it. But if the student has uploaded a different uh, bank account detail, the passbook of a different person, then in that case we have we reject it, saying that you know account holder is not uh, sorry account uh, is not a bank account is not of the applicant. So for phrase it takes time for. Uh, to make the final payment because of the uh, account authentication by the system. We have rejected more than the 3,000 applications from post-metric ST scholarship. So from the beneficiary list that we have around 42,817, there we have various categories. Some accounts have not been validated by the system and so we don't know what is the <coughs> issue with the system. So for those cases, we have to ask the students again to check with your accounts and then or maybe open a new bank account and then send us the detail of the new bank accounts so and in some cases the accounts have bounced because of inactive uh, because of the dormancy of their account and a few cases have been held up because we want to again cross check with the, the their documents with the institutions so in all we have 42817 beneficiaries this time in a day or two, we are going to upload the beneficiary list in our uh, higher education website. So there, uh, the students can check uh, why their uh, scholarship has been declined or been rejected. We used to give our remarks why it has been rejected. So they can check the amount that they are receiving and also why, some, uh, why their scholarships are being rejected. It will be uploaded very soon. See, the, as per the guidelines, we used to carry out the payment. And for hostelers, uh, ministry give a certain higher amount than the day's father. So, which means they encourage the students to reside in the hostel. So, like once they are in the hostel, they will be getting higher amount than the day's father. And that's according to the guidelines only. Our students don't like to stay in hostels. The difference in amount comes even if they are of the same class or studying in the same college. Somebody may be staying in a hostel, so he or she may be getting a little bit more. And someone who is a day scholar, but maybe staying in a PG or something, you know, private run, may not be getting that much. So that is the only difference that comes. And for 10 plus 2 and all, there's a smaller amount. For those that are going to college, there is a difference amount. Then furthermore, like that. So everyone doesn't get the same. And I just want to clarify this. The ST scholarship amounts, I have clarified it with the other uh, state governments in the Northeast also with one, two of them. It is not different. It is the same. Mizoram gets the same amount. Nagaland gets the same amount. Manipur gets the same amount, Arunachal gets the same amount, and Meghalaya also gets the same amount. So many of the students say that, sir, they are getting 50,000, 60,000, and we are getting 2, 3,000, 5,000, 9,000. They should be knowledgeable. I don't accuse them, but they should be knowledgeable because somebody who is having a marriage scholarship from Meghalaya or a research student may be getting more as a scholarship. But for the same category, for post-metric ST scholarship, it's the same amount. It depends if some states may want to give it in one go by knowing the amount and the state putting the whole amount and releasing it. 
but usually that is not done because whatever the center gives 10% of the amount is the state share the states put it and totally the payments are through PFMS and through the portal it is given so there should be no difference in the category of the students and their scholarship getting remitted to their account as, as per the guidelines of post matrix scholarship uh, like they are supposed to produce they are supposed to produce or upload uh, st certificate and the income should not go beyond uh, 2.5 which means to like 50000 so the basic those are the basic criteria and if like if they failed to upload and plus the latest mark sheet the latest mark sheet so those are the three criteria so if they fail to, to upload all those things we are very sorry that we need to reject their scholarship and like for in some cases government employee the government employee uh, like like for fixed pay children they they are supposed to be entitled but for regular employee they are not supposed to uh, like the the annual parental income is much more higher than that so on that ground also we just reject government children yeah. let government me just children. add to that you know uh, for verification the first level of verification is done by the institution itself okay so once the institution verifies the application it will come to our dashboard the department's dashboard so at the department level we will verify it and from there if you know even though verified by the institutions if things are not okay then we reject it but if things are proper then we approved it so there are two levels of verification for post matric st scholarship like for marriage scholarship also like as said uh, by our honorable sir earlier students for 10 plus 2 students those who uh, score 80 percent or above we used to award them and there is no income, uh, income cert, uh, criteria of there for merit, meritorious students so like once they scored 80 plus we used to award them and for graduate uh, BA and for PG students like once they score uh, 70 above we used to award them and also we have a research scholarship also so research scholarship we insist on the this we insist on synopsis and also the registration certificate all those things they are supposed to submit every academic session uh, we have uh, 4330 married students and for research scholarship 94 of them this 2.5 to like 50,000 has been uh, in this uh, like for the last 10 years almost so we insist that it should be raised to 8,000 8 lakhs so hopefully the ministry they accepted that one so very soon the guidelines will be changed we anticipate in that way see whether the students make whichever kind of income certificates or not the government of the day and the department of higher education have always stressed do not state claim for false scholarship as far as it is possible the department is committed to giving the scholarship to the deserving students if somebody does it or not we are not unable to verify it very uh, intimately because like we said there are two steps of authentication the first step being the college itself and from there when it comes up to the dashboard the department officials they try their best to authenticate it and then go for further recourse so we pray that the, the uh, institutions whether government or private are able to authenticate it clearly we will stress on it more and then bring up the genuine people to get their scholarships one of the most important thing in this scholarship issue is also that the student community and our people should appreciate the works of the officers and the staff of the higher education department I'm not talking about the minister. 
the officers and the staff. Seven eight of them working to upload, to authenticate, to verify and distribute for more than 40,000 students is not so easy. I was just sitting with them because they manually upload. Each new applicants, those things that come and every one of them who are getting have been uploaded in one way or the other. If you and I were to sit in a desk to upload even a thousand people's details in a dashboard or in a portal, to upload in approximately 40 to 50,000 students, which the system itself rejects some when it's not able to match its name or account detail. It will take some time, usually. So it's not for any issue, but we pray that our students' community can be patient and perseverant because the department and the government of the day is committed to making sure that our students receive the best benefits in time. And likewise, according to my officers, the Ministry of uh, Tribal Affairs, which is a dedicated ministry for the tribals, in their video conference have assured that from next year onwards, which is from this financial year onwards, which will be next year's scholarship, will be 100% in one time. I pray and hope that that will be able to give a lot of benefits to the student community during their admissions time and their needs, not in other things, which I wouldn't like to mention now, the messages that I get every day. So that is something we look forward to. And we also should appreciate the government of the day led by Honorable Chief Minister Shrine Furio because when it comes to the state share, it is never dealing. Whatever may be the financial crisis of the state may be, the file goes up, it gets clear. And merit scholarship is completely a state subject matter research, you know, uh, scholarship. Six, seven crores every year is given by the state government. So we are thankful as a higher education department. So I think this uh, should be able to be taken in a more positive manner in the days to come for the scholarship issue. And next year onwards, it will not be in the state portal. It will be in the national scholarship portal. So the students have also to be aware. I believe that the Department of Higher Education has been a little bit poor in communication, which I truly accept, you know, but don't make that the headlines kindly. We have been a little bit poor in communicating with the, you know, students, our students who are 21st century modernized. And that is what we are going to work on from now. So that next time onwards, they are able to access it in their digital platform. Every details they want. And we are going to set up an IT team for that under the scholarship cell. See, uh, it is very challenging. You know, it's very challenging to uh, answer each and every student's queries. Huh? It's not only for me, but also for my officers. It's very challenging to answer each and every message, each and every query, each and every question from the student side. But uh, if they also are able to communicate in the better manner, like our officers have said, it's being uploaded in the website of the higher education department, each and every detail of each and every student who are benefiting this time. So if someone who, who thinks that they are rightfully, they deserve it and they have not got it, then they can write to the department through the 
through their colleges and we will try to see what can be done.